Hello, Karina Essa here from Social Media Worldwide. And in this video, I want to share with you how to effectively use Facebook's Creator Studio. Facebook's Creator Studio is a feature available in your Facebook page that allows you to track and manage the performance of your posts, even across different Facebook pages you manage. There are many benefits to using Facebook Creator Studio. The first benefit is the fact that it makes it easier to manage several pages because it allows you to manage them all from one single dashboard. The second benefit of using Facebook's Creator Studio is that it gives you access to lots of handy tools to enhance your posts and make them more engaging, like access to background music and sound effects you can add to your videos. The third benefit is that it allows you to track the performance of your posts so you can clearly see what is working and what isn't and therefore produce better content. In order to access Facebook Creator Studio, simply go to your Facebook page and click on Publishing Tools. Then on the left-hand side, click on Creator Studio. You'll notice that Creator Studio has a menu bar on the left-hand side offering different options. But first, you'll need to select which page or pages you want to manage through Creator Studio by selecting a page or several pages from the drop-down menu at the top. When you're on the home page of Facebook's Creator Studio, you can also publish content by writing a post, uploading a video, or even going live. The home page also gives you a brief overview of the performance of your page. But to dig deeper and access more detailed information, you can browse the menu bar on the left-hand side. The first tab in the menu bar is called Content Library. There, you'll be able to see all your posts categorized according to the types of posts you want to look at, such as video posts or photo posts, according to their status, such as whether they've been published already or scheduled for example according to when they were created and you can also narrow your search for posts by using their filter you can also look for posts according to wider categories such as just the ones that were published or just the ones that are scheduled or those that are still drafts in other words not yet finished or those that are expiring soon or have already expired in other words posts that you have set to be unpublished and removed from your page on a certain date Next, you'll also see in the menu bar a tab called Insights. This feature is very useful as it really helps you see what is working and what isn't when it comes to your posts. If you're looking at just video posts, then you'll be given information such as how many minutes were viewed, in other words, when did most people stop watching the videos, and also the top performing videos. This is really handy because you'll be able to understand what is resonating better with your audience and produce similar content. The Insights tab also provides other options, such as your audience's loyalty, which allows you to track how many of your followers keep on coming back to consume your content. If you see you have a large number of loyal fans and followers, this is very promising, as it clearly indicates you've succeeded in building a tribe. Another option under the Insights tab is called Audience. This feature allows you to access more information about your audience according to their age, gender, the countries they live in, their interests, their language, Language and even the other pages and videos they've watched. This is very useful information, especially if you're planning to run a Facebook advertising campaign and you want to choose who to target with your ads. If you've noticed that a large number of your audience have liked other pages, you can target with your ads all the fans of these specific pages instead of going through trial and error. The other useful feature in the menu bar of Facebook Creator Studio is the Inbox tab. This allows you to see all the messages you've received in Messenger, in your page's inbox and in Instagram all in one place. From there, you can read all messages, respond to them and even create labels to categorize them, such as a new prospect label or a qualified lead label. It also gives you useful information about the sender, such as where they live and when they liked your page. The next tab in Facebook's Creator Studio menu is the Monetization tab. This feature allows you to earn money from advertisers wanting to place ads in your Facebook videos. You can see whether your page or one of your pages is eligible to be monetized on the right hand side. If it isn't, it will tell you what you need to do in order to be able to monetize your page. The next tab in the menu bar is called Rights Manager. Rights Manager helps you protect your copyrighted content on Facebook and Instagram by checking if there is audio and video content that matches yours used by someone else. The next tab in the menu bar is called Sound Collection, which gives you access to copyright-free music and sound effects you can use in your videos. You can look for music according to the genre you're looking for, or the mood you want, or according to the duration, and even according to the type of vocals you want. In terms of sound effects, you can look for some by typing a keyword in the search box or by category. You can then listen to the music or sound clips by clicking on the play tab and download the clip you want by clicking on the arrow. 
Finally, the last tab in the menu bar of Facebook Creator Studio is called Pages. And from there, you can either create a new page by clicking on Create New Page, or you can assign roles to people for certain pages. You can assign the role of Page Moderator, for example, by clicking on Add Person, and then typing their name or email address and selecting which page you'd like them to moderate. So as you can see, Facebook's Creator Studio has many features available that allows you to not only manage multiple pages from one single dashboard, but also have a better understanding understanding of what is working and what isn't, as well as gives you the opportunity to start monetizing your page. So thanks so much for watching this video. Please like the video. We've been getting hundreds of likes every single time and it makes me very happy. So continue to do that, please. I appreciate the support. It motivates me every day to make new videos when I'm seeing so much support with the likes and subscribers. So like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.